Hey everyone, Matt Cannon here with BodybuildingPro.com. Here at the 2012 Europa in Orlando, Florida, I'm here with Natalie Waples from uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. So Natalie, you look like you did pretty well up there in the figure uh, in the figure class today. Looks like you thought that you would be in the, based on the callouts in the in the uh, six to ten spot somewhere. How do you feel about the results? Uh, do you feel that you got what you deserve tonight? Well, I mean, I think every show um, is very subjective. I um, I've definitely improved from the packages that I presented last year. Um, I think I'm in seventh place, but we'll see when the score sheets come out. Uh, but it was good. I mean, I got some feedback from the judges, and I'm going to be competing again in four weeks at the Cal Pro and then the week after in Toronto. So I'll just take that feedback and work with it. Um, also, I find that uh, the judging on the East Coast, they tend to go with a, a bigger, more muscular physique. Um, and I'm definitely one of the smaller girls, so I always have to kind of try and up the ante a little bit because just genetically I'm not a, a big person. Uh, but it was good. I mean, it was good to get the jitters out for 2012. It was my first show this year. I've been off stage for about six months. Um, so, yeah, I'll just take uh, the feedback that I got and focus on the next four weeks of training for the Cal. Now, speaking with a lot of the female competitors, uh, it looks like, it, especially in figure, that it's the entire package that's being presented. I see that your hair is done and, and you have makeup and all the girls do. And, it, and uh, how do you feel that... Uh, the importance is for that aspect. Is it uh, is it mainly physique, but it's also face and, and, and a more attractive woman will do better? Or is it, uh, is, it, is it supposed to predominantly be physique, a little bit of the rest, or is it all part of the, the whole deal? Or how, how would you describe it? I think it definitely has to be the entire package. I mean, the women that uh, do well in this sport generally are the ones that are going to be asked by magazines to shoot for them. They want someone that's marketable, that women, you know, uh, strive for that look that's um, attainable as well, so not something excessively muscular. Um, so I think it's very important and also you have to remember we're under these huge expo you know stage lights and if you didn't have all this makeup and tan on you wouldn't be able to see anything because you'd be completely washed out so it's just like if you're in like a theater production where it's always overdone it's because on stage it just looks normal like you're just emphasizing your you know your your attributes that you already have being on being on the stage lights is the uh, is the figure diet. I'm assuming that it's not like the bodybuilding diet where they have to where you're, they're going for an ultra shredded look. But you still need to be fairly lean. Mm -hmm. Is it comfortable being? Uh, was it comfortable for you to be up on stage under the lights uh, in your current level of body fat? Or what, is sometimes it gets a little difficult? Or how, how do you describe it? Well, I find. Um like the Europa, for example, they do their shows in a big convention center and the lighting is generally a little bit harsher. So you actually have to come in a little bit leaner for these shows because everything, um, it's not generous. Whereas if you do a show in a theater with professional lighting, it's a little bit softer and a little bit more complimentary. So I find even with the pictures, the pictures always look better in a smaller environment. Whereas in an expo, it's so hard because it's under these huge floodlights. So as well as the professional lighting is at the stage, you always get these fluorescent lights overhead so it can really change how you look even if you watch the video backstage everyone looks a little um, a little less defined a little more washed out just because of the, the the venue the way it's set up so but I mean that's what you have to do to accommodate an expo right so it's just depending w the logistics of what you're hosting uh, you have to work with it yeah well, Natalie uh, you said that you had to uh, up the ante for certain content depending on the contest judging of like of course it's subjective now at the same time you said you're doing photo shoots and things like that uh, so there's some conflict I, I guess going on what kind of physique do you want personally and uh, is that the physique that will help you with the photo shoots because if you're more muscular maybe you'll get less photo shoots and they, they want a feminine look well, tell me about that in terms of your goals and then the judging and all the, the mix of everything well that's I mean that's a whole other game I mean there's a lot of women that you know win shows and you'll never see them in anything it just um, you know you have to reach out to contacts you have to reach out to publications um, myself being from Ontario I've got a good relationship with Robert Kennedy publishing so I've shot with oxygen several times I've shot with muscle fitness hers down the state Inside Fitness, which is a Canadian uh, magazine. Um, so, and all of those, I, you know, I reached out to them and made contact with them, sent my photos. So, um, and at that time, I hadn't even qualified for the Olympia yet. This was, you know, two years ago or whatever. So, it's really how much effort you put into it. I mean, winning shows or doing well at shows certainly does well because they recognize you right away. Uh, but it's all about how you promote yourself. Um, if you promote sponsors, um, if you're able to speak with people publicly, like how you carry yourself. So, and a lot of these people too. With the way social media works now too they can check you out on twitter and facebook and see what you're like you know if you're posting all these like really scandalous photos or profanity or things like that people can see that and they don't want that representing their company or magazine so you have to be very self-conscious about what you put out there you know natalie that's good advice for everybody myself included but uh but, you know, I mean, that's how it is nowadays. Everybody's very accessible. Speaking of social media, uh, how can your fans get a hold of you? Uh, well, I'm on Twitter, at Nat Waples, and uh, Facebook as well, Natalie Waples IFBB Pro. And I have a personal website. It's NatalieWaplesFitness.com. 
Thank you very much, Natalie. Well, everybody, you heard it straight from uh, Natalie herself. I am going to post her link so that you can reach her. And uh, uh, with social media these days, everybody is very accessible. It's not like it was, you know, say, even 10 years ago or even five for that matter. So it's all very exciting. But everybody here with Natalie Waples at the 2012 Europa Orlando. She placed uh, somewhere between 6 and 10. And we'll, we'll, we, don't we'll, <laughs> we don't know yet, but we're going we're gonna to find out fairly soon. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, it, she can only go up a little bit from there. You know, I, I actually, I personally, maybe I'm biased, but... Uh, I did feel that she, I, I felt that she was the first call-out competitor ba oh, from where I was seen. <laughs> I did, you know, like I, I don't know much about the female competitors, Natalie, I'll tell you, but. Like I said, it's very subjective. That's, that's exactly it, and you know, like, but anyway, so, <laughs> like, don't take it from me because I'm not a judge of any of the female side, but that's how I saw it, but at the same time, we'll find out later exactly where, where she placed. So everybody here with Natalie Waples of the 2012 Europa in Orlando, Florida.